Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nightmare Toys Podcast. We are on episode 83. I am Brian and with me is... Chrissy. And joining us this week is... Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. Nikki. We all know Nikki. She's that girl that's blowing up TikTok. <laughs> like, seriously, yesterday I was scrolling through, I was like, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. <laughs> there was Joseph in one of them. Oh, like, hey, I oh. know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize him. <laughs> So uh, this week we are talking all things Art the Clown. Some of you love him, some of you hate him, some of you just don't care. Yep. Which is fine. Yep. To each their own. To each their own. So, uh, Nikki, you're the one that picked Art the Clown. Yeah, I couldn't do Michael Myers. (laughs) Well, we've already covered him. Yeah, you've already covered him, so so I couldn't. We haven't covered all the movies at one time, so I'm glad you picked this. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's he's new. He's he's really up there right now. He he is yeah. very hot right now. He, he is. That's the uh, lines everybody's going to at the conventions. We know that. <laughs> poor David. <laughs> Actually, I should say poor Damien. Like you see David's line, and then Damien just there as table on his phone. <laughs> well, David, um, since he began this. Uh, He's now very gray headed. Yes. <laughs> He's very gray headed. <laughs> but they're very busy now. Uh, they are very busy. Yeah. Yeah, the part two kind of blew up, and now everybody knows who Art the Clown is. Mm-hmm. But it all started with All Hollows Eve, which is a great movie. I, don't I think get so how too. Some people don't like it. I thought it was slow. And granted, I, I, it's an, I don't antholo- see it, that. It, it's an yeah. anthology movie. Oh, no. It's like, because I didn't, ca- I mean, the Ninth Street segment, I liked. But then it just went to, like, the sewers, which I'm like, don't care about. Then there was the robot alien thing. I'm like, mm-hmm. that, that's kind of stupid. Okay, that one threw me off. That one threw me off. And, <laughs> and then it went back <laughs> to art. But, but art is in all of it, though. Yeah. So Because at the very, you know, the, yeah. Arts, you you see him all of the in some, all of the stories at yeah. some point, so he's in it. I'm trying to think, when when did Trick or Treat come out? Was it around the same time? Trick or Treat? Yeah. Um, Cause, cause I feel like the like they kind of came out. The I same think it was time. before. Was it before? Mm-hmm. Because with this one, Art kind of has like the wraparound story, right? And then a few of the segments, but then like the other two segments, I'm just like I I don't understand what they're doing. <laughs> Well, if people do not know this, there are two short stories that were written first. Um, one was called Terrifier, and the other one was the Ninth, Ninth Street. Ninth Street. Yeah. yeah. So those two short stories kind of make up most of the videotape that the babysitter and the kids are watching. So the two short stories were written and came out first before All Hallows Eve. Then you mm-hmm. get All Hallows Eve. And then you get Terrifier, which is where he gets the name from that short story. We get move mm-hmm. on to Terrifier and Terrifier Two, and now we'll get a Terrifier Three. Yeah, I'm intrigued on what they're going to do with that. I'm I, excited. I, 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 I hope working. they keep it to the same, um, <clears throat> like what they did, to where they do it independently. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I keep saying, had a studio put out Terrifier Two, we it wouldn't be what it is. Yeah. It, granted, an hour of it would have been cut out. All the gore. And stuff would have been cut out. And I feel like that's what makes him, though, is the gore and the the crazy yeah. kills, things yeah. like that. Totally agree with that. Yeah. There's a lot of people out there that don't like it, though. There's a lot of people that call it nonsense gore, which I get. I understand. I mean, but I like that stuff. Yeah. Just not, you know, that's my <laughs> opinion. But there's uh, people out there that just absolutely just don't like it. They they just they hate it. So I mean, but that's it is their. But, it is opinion. what it makes them. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's a wrong opinion, but it's their opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, but it's what, it, but you're right. It, it's what makes Art the Clown and the Terrifier movies, though, that that over the top gore stuff. It, it would have been, what what was it called back in the day? Gore porn? Gore yeah. porn. Like, I, I feel like it kind of adopted from there. Yeah, definitely. Um, I like the over the top stuff. Um, I mean, some of it can get a little silly, but I, I mean, other than, but it's still creative. He's a, he's a silly clown. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. He's Sometimes he's just sinister. Yeah. <laughs> but 
his laugh, his smile, the things that he plays yeah. with when he's doing the little horn mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. when he's doing that the little party favor thing yeah. with the glasses and he likes to play with them first, you know, when he's laughing at them and he's like the quietness. Them. Yes, the taunting is is what I gets like that. Yeah, yeah. That's what makes art. <laughs> did Twisty was he did he taunt people? Yeah. Did he? Mm-hmm. I think he did. I haven't watched that episode of American Horror Story, but I like Twisty too, as far as clowns go. I know a lot of people always want to talk about Pennywise or whatever, but Art gave us a new character, a new icon, whatever you want to call call it, um, to love as horror fans. And I happen to like, you know, this particular clown, and I like Twisty too. Mm-hmm. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was. Uh, when, when did you first see Art the Clown? In mm-hmm. All Hallows Eve in 2013. 2013. Mm-hmm. As soon as it came out, I was like, I got to watch this. Okay, so you were one that watched it You're from the beginning. From the you knew beginning. Yeah. All Hallows Eve and yeah. all that. Because so there's still some people out there that haven't watched All Hallows Eve or even know about it. Yeah, I put out a sign of horror trivia that said, when did Art first make his debut? And everyone's like, Terrifier 2. And I was like, so then where does Terrifier 1 even come in? Or All Hallows Eve and they're like, What's All Hallows Eve? And I'm like, you know, it's a a movie. (laughs) It's it's a good movie. (laughs) So what else don't you like about All Hallows Eve? Yeah, let's pick Uh, it. I don't think I've ever heard you say anything about this movie. It it was just the pacing for me. Like, I was literally falling asleep during half the movie. See, I feel that way about part two. I'm not a huge fan of part two. See, I, 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 I will part watch part two, two multiple times See? over. <laughs> I, watch, I yeah. watch part two a lot with my do kids. Say, yeah. I'm not a huge, huge fan of part two. Weird. I do own it though, but yeah. Oh no, I mean, and I'm not taking anything away from the original actor that was Art the Clown. He he did what he could with you know what, what he had. with what they had. Um, obviously, the makeup got better Way for better. Art <laughs> as they kept making them. Um, they did use um, part of the same mask, though. Yeah. Because they wanted the look to kind of continue. Yeah. But yes, of course, they probably added a few things here and there um, once Terrifier and Terrifier 2 came about. But yeah. Oh, no. It was just the, just the pacing altogether didn't really work for me. Hmm. Sort of. Which is weird because it's the shortest movie out of all of them. Yeah. I think. I don't know. How long is this first one? I wrote it all down. I wrote everything down. Oh. Um. All Hallows Eve, yeah, it's just, it's an hour and 23 minutes, and then Terrifier's an hour and 25 minutes, and Terrifier 2 is two hours and 18 minutes. Yeah. Terrifier 2 is that long? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would have been a lot longer. <laughs> I feel like maybe just because I get too into it, and I'm just like... There's a lot going on in Terrifier yeah. 2, so... Yeah. I can't wait to see how they're going to play with number three. Me too. I just really hope, because the budget's bigger, they don't get cheesy with the killings and the things yeah. like that. At this point, you gotta get cheesy with the. Ki- I mean, all I the mean, movies have cheesy killings. All the movies have great killings in them. Like you wouldn't think. Like when you think of killing someone, you're like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, the simple stuff. But he's like going over the top, top. of his killings, and he's playing with them. And I did write this down on when I watched Terrifier two. The only the the one scene and the one kill. Um, that I thought was just like, okay, this is a little too much, was in the bedroom with the girl. And he, I mean, she should have died way before, <laughs> you know, and now she's crawling and she has no hand or no arms and no legs and no scalp. And she should have already been dead. None of that. So I, I, that was, I know it, it, it works in this movie because it's supposed to be mm-hmm. over the top. So I understand that. But then, but that just for me in my brain, in my opinion, I'm like, okay, that's a little little overboard you know still seeing her crawling around and still alive eh, i don't think so I, I was good with it until he dumped the salt on her oh that, that was right I'm done. that was good <laughs> that and was then with the brutal. bleach and she's like sitting there and the mom walks in she's like oh my god like yeah, looking back a, and forth and he it's turned like, her into a puppet yeah. yeah and he just like starts pointing at her and was like aha like look and i was like oh man <laughs> what else for all hallows eve mm-hmm I mean, th- that was really... I mean, like, the two... Like I said, the two uh, stories in it just it didn't really mesh with it. Like, you had that robot alien. The alien one. And I'm like, okay. I, it yeah. Is, it, you know. And then you had, the, like, the people under... In the sewers or whatever. Yeah, I guess Art 
drugged her and mm-hmm. then put her down there for them. And then the yeah. other, yeah. <laughs> but like, uh, I mean, yeah. They just kind of like show up though. So it's like, but maybe like an offering. Do you think it was maybe something yeah. that he was trying to? Yeah, maybe. Well, I didn't. Yeah. They should have explained it more though. Like, uh, is this people that were victims of art, or did he come from them? But I feel like that's that's like a good point from the movies is that we don't need to see his background. We don't need to see why he is the way he is because he straight blasted himself and then came back for number two, which I was like, I'm fine with it. I am yeah. perfectly okay with I don't care if it was witchcraft, if it was um, anything. It, he's a ghost or something, just like a, a he's demon. Something. He's something. He's very supernatural. To, yeah. Yeah, because you know what I did notice, and I guess I never noticed this before watching these movies until now, is in the Hollow's Eve, you you do see his eyes light up, mm-hmm. and you do see that with them, and you see it with the new girl character too. And I guess I just never paid attention to that until now, until we watch these for the podcast. Yeah, like when the flashing, when he put mm-hmm. the needle in her, and she was like trying to get out from the from the train station, and she kind of looked towards him, and he's like waving, and his eyes are just like, Broom. yeah, their eyes light up. So I'm yeah. wondering what that is all about. Yeah, aliens, man. See, but. I mean, oh, don't get me started in conspiracy <laughs> theories because we we will have an overnight podcast. Do you podcast. think he's an alien? I don't no, no. He's, oh, he's, I was like, he's, please he's, don't. He's, probably, <laughs> no, he, he's, he's got some sort of demonic presence in him. I wonder if we'll find that out in part three. Yeah. Maybe they'll do a backstory for part yeah. three. Like, oh, this yeah, is why he's I mean, so messed up. The, the girl gave birth to his head in part two. Right. Spoilers. Um, so, I don't know. It'll be interesting <laughs> to see where... I don't even think Damien knows where he's going with it at this point. <laughs> he's just like, you know what? People like it. Let's do it. I do want to make this point, though. I would... At this point, though, I would like to see something else, though, from David and something else from Damien, though. I really would. I just want to see what else they can do. I mean, what are we going to do? Just continue to do terrifying like movies? Like to well, maneuver away saying, from uh, art? Uh, David? Yeah, something okay. different. Yeah, I want to see something different from both of them, really. I mean, I, I mean I'm going to watch part three, obviously, but I'm probably yeah. not as excited about it as you or, or other people because at this point, I would rather see something different. Let's do something different for a minute. Not that I don't want part three to happen. I'm just saying, I want to see something else from them too. Yeah. I mean, we don't want to just keep keep, keep typecasting David as Arthur Clown. Well, I mean, in the, what David's he, a he voice can do actor, other stuff. right? So yeah. I mean, he, he's done the voice for the Joker and Batman yeah. material stuff. Um, I think he's some done some animation stuff, but stuff. I want to see some other um, bigger movies. I was like, he just did the um, the that Grinch horror movie, right? Um, I mean, unless they try to make. Um, number three around the little girl that appears i was thinking that too yeah. as i was watching part two that yeah. maybe they'll have her a little more i'm not sure maybe i was oh no i know the two kids are coming back like they've already said that the uh, the brother sister, sister, sister yeah sister. brother and sister they're, so how they're are both they gonna, coming back are they gonna pick it up do you think they'll pick it up like right where they left off I, like I, I'm sorry, have them thrown into like an I'm asylum sure. or like a hospital or are they going to be like, like I said before, like him growing up with kids and... This is going to be our hospital horror chapter in this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm down. You know, I like hospital movies. <laughs> Why? Because uh, they're clearly going that route. He was brought back in a morgue. Check. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it ends with him in the hospital. So odds are it's going to be... All I mean, in that was hospital. it was it he was brought back in the hospital or was she or well in no like, it was an insane asylum she was in asylum it? yeah yeah, yeah she, so which it could be part of a hospital she was in the she was in the seventh ward <laughs> it know. could be a wing in a hospital they all go together they go all hollows eve it actually flows into terrifier and terrifier flows into part two mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. It, it should be something that should flow right into part three because yeah. like in and all hollows eve i guess i another thing i didn't pay attention to before but i haven't watched it in a while either until now um they do talk about him um crapping on the walls and all yeah. that in the bathroom and then you actually get to see all that depicted in part one so i remember when part one came out we should talk about that one for a minute i thought that was fun my daughter went the, head over heels for it dark terrifier then that was i mean <laughs> We should have started like with All Hallows Eve and one. No, we don't roll that way. We went we been, straight. We, been we, we don't roll that way. <laughs> it's all good. No, I mean I just remember when I remember when it came out. Um, 
for, not a lot of people were talking about it at that point. It was really, mm-hmm. he made it in 2016, but it really didn't get going into two, 2018. It was when, when it was released all over. Um, yeah, because I remember being on Netflix and that's like. It was on something, yeah. And that's when everyone started watching it. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I think I think around, the, at least, I mean, that's how I saw it was through Netflix. Yeah, I know yeah. it was on everything. I can't remember. I'm sure, did, I think we did a podcast on it, though, with the other podcast we used to be on a long time ago, didn't we? Yeah, because we had David on it with us. Right. That's right. Because we found out he was a video gamer, which he's probably not anymore, because he has no free time. He has time. no time. <laughs> he has no free time. <laughs> I feel it's pain. He's from the town that uh, me and Philip are from, Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, Philip's um, sister-in-law went to school with him. Mm-hmm. Went to high school with David, so... That's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so when we were at Texas Frightmare, Frightmare. He was at David the came into <laughs> the store, into Nightmare Toys. Um, my daughter was just watching the store while we were at Texas Frightmare. I would have cried. I would have cried. I would have I would have fangirled. I don't fangirl because I've met a lot of celebrities before, but I would have fangirled. I yeah. Oh and God. see, it's funny because at that time, not a lot of people knew who he was yet. You yeah, know, he, he was unknown. He was kind of unknown. Um, and Rachel was sending me pictures of them together. And that's how I re- acquired the signed Nightmare Toys poster. I do have the Terrifier poster. David gave us that. Um, and they sent us pictures. And I had talked to him. I knew he was coming. And I was like, because he was going for a wedding or whatever. And I was just like, oh, I'm going to be at Texas Prime. I'm not going to be able to get to meet you, you know. So I always feel like my daughter was one of the <laughs> first people to meet David. Because <laughs> he hadn't really done any conventions or anything yet at that point in time yet so and now he's really just cool. booked <laughs> yep mm-hmm. and now he's and, and now everybody every wants to week. Buy, buy that poster yeah. everybody always wants to buy that poster but it's too us uh, it's, it's too nightmare toys i don't think that's stopping anyone I mean, no because everybody still wants to buy people it people want to buy the f- uh the photo ops you guys did at primary for all oh, those yeah. years yeah. i'm like yeah they're not for sale no. <laughs> <They're obvious>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i remember when it came out i was like okay this is something cool this is something new something mm-hmm. fresh a new character a new to love a yeah. new face yes um and i just fell in love with it i like the nonsense score i understand what people don't though but i do i like like i just like a big mess like it yeah like, mm-hmm. and it doesn't yeah. have to get too um like the story doesn't have to get too crazy now in part two the story gets a little more complex than what you get in part one in my opinion you get yes. more stuff yeah. going on you get um, a background of the dad and the drawings yeah and the the sword and things like honestly in my opinion in number two the girl should have died the little boy should have died and it, it should have just went on like that but with the sword lighting up and her coming back from the water and i'm like what is this like no she should have died back down there yeah. she should have drowned that was probably my only criticism of part two was when we started when they started doing all that sword stuff yeah it kind of became a little comic bookish i yeah. wasn't into all that so in my opinion it was a little long too i mean they could have cut out about 20 minutes of the movie that's just my opinion um i'm just glad they didn't make art their father i would have been so mad <laughs> oh my <laughs> i would have hope. been so mad why did somebody say that they would do Th- that? that that was one of the theories that art was, that art was supposed to be their father because they even talk about it because the kid keeps finding the drawings of him right in the book so, so he's like what if dad was art <laughs> oh my god but what is the girl then is she yeah they're long related lost sister. <laughs> or not or is this or are we going to get more clowns in or part three? maybe because only art and the brother the little boy can see him what if well they can only see the little girl what if he is their dad and that's why he's able to see the little girl too because he's kind of twisted in the head like art is then right? i'm out I'm, I'm, I'm i'll done. get up and walk out the theater I'm done. <laughs> i'll i'll leave if that's we're the all case. gonna need to go watch now this together I'm, now I'm upset. <laughs> imagine just all of us getting out of the movie theater <laughs> throwing our popcorn at the screen what is this <laughs> that's funny <laughs> so out of number one yeah let's focus on the terrifier from the first movie what is your favorite kill it's got to be just the the oh, chainsaw. Has, chainsaw. Chainsaw. Yeah. Or the hacksaw. That, or hacksaw. That so me. Catherine's death. Yeah. 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 That. There's no hands. 
I mean, it's but, iconic, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's the most. I, I felt bad for her because like, she was saying how she was upside down for long periods of time and then found out she could have died from that. I'm right. Like, well, why'd you do it? The blood rush to her head. I mean, she's excited. She's starring in a movie. You know, I mean, I get it. I mean, I'll be upside down if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be a movie and it blew up like this, right? Why not? Yeah, that was a cool yeah. kill. I mean, it's it a, a very, very cool, cool kill. kill. She's on T-shirts, but. posters, everything. Yeah. yeah, because of that scene. This is true. And, and now here she is, wishing she could have stayed alive. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's talk about art for a minute. Um, so you said something earlier, which I remember somebody on my Instagram saying the exact same thing you said earlier, that some people don't like this art in All Hallows Eve, but they like them better the in this one. The Terrifier one. Right. I, I, I think for, and this is just me, I, I compare art to the Joker. Okay. Which is ironic because David, you know, portrays the joker mm -hmm. and some of the batman materials um so it was just like he's like sadistic but he has like fun with you he toys right. with you um but i feel like the joker is mainly more he wants to get his point across and he's more maybe because he talks so he's more like this is why this happened and art's like i'm here to have fun i'm gonna do it you know what i mean and he's he's you know like um I think in the was it the first one or the second one where she's like the second one where she's like look I get it dude you know the quiet creepiness like I get right, it right I get you it, know yeah. and the quiet is kind of what you get like oh my god what's going on because when someone's talking too much you know you just want to kind of right yeah but if they're quiet you know you get more of the butterflies you get more nervous you get more like what is he you know like, like what is he get, thinking what is yeah he, yeah kind of a thing yeah oh I like that. I think, you know, it's the whole actor thing. I bet mm -hmm. the actor that played um, Art the Clown in this is probably kicking himself in the butt. I had read that he didn't want to do Terrifier because he just didn't want to get put in the makeup and all that anymore. Yeah. Which, that was like his reasoning, really. Oh. And it's understandable. I mean, how long they got, you know, sit there in the makeup and then you can't take right. it off. I mean, but that's business. That's what... You know, that's how Halloween yeah, happened but, now, though. Yeah. But it's, it can also be claustrophobic to people. Oh, yeah, it can be. I don't know. That's all I read, so I'm not sure, yeah. like, you know, Yeah, I won't put my two that. cents in that one because I don't know too much about that. I think, you know, obviously, and it's two different actors. You see the sadistic side of art in All Hallows' Eve. And then you get David Howard Thornton, who... Um, is a mime he 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 knows how to do all that mm -hmm. and that's what made them hire him for art the mm -hmm. clown he came into his audition and started miming and started doing all that that's where they're like oh okay now that's where you're starting to see the comedy side of mm -hmm. art the clown you didn't you didn't get that in this too much at all yeah not too much at all um but you start getting in that and that's just because of the actor that they choose now and what um and what he can do with it and what he just added to it so yeah i mean i like I, I, I don't know i don't really i try not to separate it because it's, it's the same character really um and i don't want to say oh well david's good and this guy sucks you know i don't want to yeah. say that you don't want to say that about no. about the actor that did that that's no, honestly, you know, but people he did, did. The, the I, I feel like he did a great job i do the, too yeah, he, like, he don't want to take away from that the, um his like mannerisms at the ending um where they show the two kids heads in the bed that oh, he had he just killed yeah, and he's just them. laughing and clapping yeah. his hands and right. everything i think that I think that's david kind of where the start of it right yeah. and i think david probably took some of that obviously yeah. of what, yeah. what was going on with this art the cloud and then made it a little bit of his own too so kind of more to like fulfill the character of okay well yeah. this is how he acts in all hollows eve so i'm gonna laugh at the killings and you know that's who art the clown is is he gets creative with his killings and he's just like look what i did you know like right. he applauds himself and i'm right. for it like congratulate yeah. yourself you did that he's kind of a smart ass without having to say anything yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> which i like i think is cool i i don't know i like the terrifier movies um i understand where a lot of people may not like them okay i, I get it you know um but again, I think it's, you know, David and Damien did something to where mm -hmm. we now have something new and something fresh. Because we're not mm -hmm. getting that a lot now. We're getting yeah, a lot of remakes. remaking, yes. So, again, you know, we got a new icon to like. Um, so 
I mean, I like them. I, I just had I just had a small part uh, problem with part two, and that was just when it started going comic bookish and stuff like that. I didn't like all that aspect of it. Yeah. But other than that, I'm good. Uh, yeah. I'm you ex- too. Yeah, I'm. A, yeah, I'm excited for number three. Um, number one is kind of I don't I don't do clowns. I have a re- really weird thing with clowns. I won't do it. But Art the Clown is just somebody that that is more playful instead of more kind of scary. Yeah. Like, I mean, he's a scary guy. The things that he does is scary. But when I look at him, I'm just like, oh, you know, instead of like, ugh, like, I don't get like, I don't get the jitters. Right. When I look at someone like um, the Pennywise, the original Pennywise, because that's what got me, was the original Pennywise is what got me. And then with um, Gacy, and I was oh, just yeah. like, yeah, the playful circus circus clowns, y'all got to go. <laughs> you guys got to go. But with Art the Clown, I'm just like, he's fun. He's, he's you know what I mean? He's, yeah. I don't I like him. He's a bit um, different of yeah. a clown than some of the others. So, yeah, yeah I, I totally understand. Do you, do you like to go to circus circus here in Vegas? <laughs> I I don't <laughs> I don't no. go to I took no. my kids and they they had like that circus free act and I'm just like oh like they were on yeah. like the jumping things and I'm just like oh I don't know why I had a feeling like they were just gonna rah, like jump at me <laughs> and I'm just like oh because it was so it was bad it was I I don't do clowns like that's one way to get a lot me of people of, don't no I had a Pennywise um, mannequin well I had a mannequin with a Pennywise costume on it um, mm-hmm. at the store in Alabama and people just hated it like yeah. people didn't even want to walk near it and my store wasn't that big there so it was like well you kind of so have, have to, to walk past <laughs> in this store but uh, but yeah it was funny yeah a lot of people do not like clowns I have figured that out having nightmare toys. <laughs> I feel like maybe like the older generation, their thing is Gacy, the reasoning why they don't like clowns, which is understandable. Clowns um, never bothered me none, and some people don't like balloons. I'm okay with balloons. Yeah, I'm good with yeah. balloons, but there's people out there who don't like balloons. I don't know. I mean, balloons. maybe just like phobias from like a yeah. balloon, like spiders, things yeah, like that. Yeah. I'm okay with yeah, spiders. Different. Yeah, but something about clowns. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't. <laughs> But the terrifier, I love him. I love him. My daughters love him. This actually hurt a lot of her stuff. And she told me, she's like, Mom, wear my white shirt. I'm like, your white shirt don't fit me. And she's like, well, then wear the black one. And this is her shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I should have bought a shirt. Which one is, is that? Ter- is that Terror Threads, too? Yeah. I, I don't know. I can't see. It's probably a Terror Threads one. Because Terror Threads really, pretty much is the ones putting out Terrifier shirts right now. This is a Terror Threads. This is an old Terror Threads one. This is when the first one came out this shirt i don't have a part two shirt yeah i gotta get more shirts yeah mm-hmm. what someone else has terrifier i don't know who hmm. though i haven't seen anybody else have terrifier I, I think it's like another spencer's no it's not spencer's <laughs> no it was, it was like another like shirt company <sighs> kind of kind of like terror terror threads but it was like someone else because they actually made terrifier two shirts Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Google it because I need new shirts. <laughs> I need I terrified no shirts. Clue. Yeah. Oh no, uh, I, w- I will say I'm excited to see the third one whenever whenever we get it. Who who knows at this point? Mm-hmm. But I am very burned out on all the art the clown stuff. <laughs> I I'm, and that's the thing working here and seeing I agree. everything. I agree. Like I get you know art the clown cool and all, but yeah, I give it to us and like waves. You just full court press everything like they did with the it chapter two stuff and right it burns you out very fast right yeah i mean i guess i mean seeing it every day now, and you're so just yeah. like <sighs> well you know that it was like any you know convention you look at it, it's like all terrifier stuff or well because like i mean companies it's, it's it's in. Popular. yeah it's no, what's it's, popular it's right now yeah, but, but i understand what brian's saying yeah. I, I'm, it, I'm a little it, burnout myself um you know I got burnt out over the whole Halloween trilogy thing. Done with that. And then now this is happening. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Whatever. I mean, but it's barely going to be his third movie. And the fact that he got so, like, he got so big from his second movie. And you're just oh, like, yeah. oh, I've seen the second one. Loved it. Now I got to go watch the other one. But, you know, I'm going to say this, though. 
Had they not made the second movie, he would not be as popular as what he is. Right, because no agree. one knew about I part agree, one yeah. or Hollow Z before part yeah. two came out. And I think no the one ever only reason it. two is as popular as it was was because it was limited showings. Mm -hmm. Not every single you know mass chain theater had it. You had to physically look around and see who had it. Yeah. And then you'd be like, okay, so the only options you got are like an eight o'clock, nine o'clock showing. So it's like you pretty Everyone much had to yeah. go to one of those. Yeah. And then it was in the smallest theater possible. <laughs> So, possible. <laughs> well, yeah, if, if you and I keep bringing this up, if you notice any horror movie, if it's an independent movie, they put in the smallest theater because the theater chains don't want to risk losing money on yeah. the big theaters. Yeah, like the Smile premiere. I went to go see the Smile premiere. That's actually where I met um, that horror couple was at the premiere. Yeah. And I sat down and I'm like. There's like five rows in here. Yeah. <laughs> and like the directors were at the bottom. People behind me were just like making fun of the like kind of putting their two cents into the movie. And I'm just like, I don't think this is OK. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, my gosh. Yeah. Most of the time it's going to be in like a 40 seat theater. They're yeah, not gonna, They're not going to put it into like a 300 seat theater. Seater. Yeah. It was very, very small. But they are bringing the Terrifier 1 in theaters for a limited time again i want to say yeah for the anniversary yeah mm -hmm. which i'm good i don't i don't need no to go. maybe you need yeah. to go see it in a theater to appreciate the <laughs> no i don't have to i could just watch it at my theater at home <laughs> can i where come? i don't where i don't have to hear people yapping and talking can i go watch it with you <laughs> i don't have to deal with idiot kids smoking their vape pens and <laughs> on their phones smelling like strawberry in the theater for no reason Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's where that's where his age is. That's where his age is in the theater. <laughs> that's where his age is coming out. The I kids know. are bothering him. Yeah, he's like waving his cane at them, like youngsters, sit down. No, but I, I mean, I don't need to hear you know kids yapping through an entire movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, I it, like we, we, go, we go to the see the movie and enjoy the experience. Right. You have <laughs> douchebags in the theater. They take that away. Lord. Well, I wanted to call them something else, but we got little kids that watch the show. But yeah, but you just called them. <laughs> it's not swearing. <laughs> oh, this is a great podcast. I, I love this podcast. <laughs> but no, I would say, if you have a chance to see Terrifier in your theater, I think it's only AMCs that are doing it. Yes, AMC. Um, which I don't have any... We don't have any around us. Like, we have to go to the other side of town, which I'm not doing. I don't know. There's one in yeah. Summerlin, though. I'll drive uh, to Summerlin. Summerlin. I'll go take my I would say there's the one, in um, one in the town square. Oh. I think where we saw Scream 5. Oh, Or yeah, you can yeah. stay home, and it's all on Tubi. If you don't have the Blu-rays or DVDs, it's all on Tubi. <laughs> I think it's still on Netflix. <laughs> but I don't think it's on Netflix. But the experience to watch it in a in theater, theater is better. Because you get the popcorn, you get the smell of the vape pen, you get the... I'm good. <laughs> you I get can the do all that at home, too. I'm with Brian. <laughs> I'm I have my theater, too, my surround sound. And I'll pop some popcorn. What did you guys think about the clown cafe scene in number two? That, that was the only one so, that bothered me. <laughs> Why? Because the gun violence. Cause, okay. Because, like, at, I mean, we're still in a world where, you know, we yeah. have people are going around chewing up theaters yeah like that's the only one that like the girl being ripped to shreds and having bleach and salt and everything mm -hmm. poured on her like no issues you know i was good <laughs> but I'm then okay with that. <laughs> but then the yeah the tommy gun scene that that's the only one to where like okay i feel a little uncomfortable now see i liked it that's why i wrote it down <laughs> i'm such an opposite of you well, no, i like, like the mob the, and i love fucking tommy look, guns like i, so get, I was like oh okay i, 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 I get what beautiful. they were trying to do but it's more like the realistic part of it i get okay. it yeah but i mean he I was being that. a smart ass because like shut the hell up yeah and that's how i felt about the scene myself i just wanted the song to shut up yeah. <laughs> but it was cool it was colorful i liked the way they looked i like and my friend francesco though. hello francesco francesco was uh the guy sitting on the swing um, I was at who, the girl seeing it. Uh, Leah, she's from here in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yep. So she was she was nice. Met her at a creepy con. Yeah. So she was real nice. Yeah, it was cute for a moment, but I that scene after 
if you watch it more, it like, gets on my nerves. So I liked the Tommy gun. <laughs> yeah, the Tommy gun was genius. I liked yeah. that. I wrote it down. I don't know. Like, like it, I mean, it was art being art, but right. it was just the realisticness of it. I'm like, yeah. I, mm. Yeah, I, I went, I took my kids, and there was a girl next to me who had, like, bags with her. Like, you know the... um. The, the bags, the reusable shopping bags, mm-hmm. yeah. she had like a few of those and she had like blankets on top of it, but it looked hollow from the inside. Like it was really weird. And she was like sitting in her chair, like right next to me. She couldn't get one, one over. She had to sit right next to me and she's rocking back and forth. She's like, I can't do it. Please don't make me do it. Please don't make me do it. I'm like, I swear to God, I'm going to like I'm gonna deck her you know like if she reaches in that bag I'm swinging and she was just like please don't make me do it do I have to I'll do it I'll do it please and I'm just like oh my god and I told my kids I was like let's go get more popcorn (laughs) and they're like we have some and I'm like we don't have any more let's go get more popcorn so I went and I told the security I was like hey there's like a I don't think I can say that word a girl who I think is you know probably using or something like that i was like she's she's going a little off the rails you know right like she has bags with her can you check her and i don't i don't care kids you guys want to jump movies jump movies i don't care i was a kid at one point yeah you know what Mm -hmm. i mean you're gonna have your fun you're gonna be with your friends do what you gotta do i'm not gonna tell security but for something like that especially when i have my kids with me no um you're gonna get hit or security's gonna get you yeah i mean you don't know what she's gonna do exactly so he was like ma'am i need your ticket and she was like i gotta do it and then he's like get up and he's like get up and i was like oh my god she had a a doll in her in her in her bag okay i was just like we're gonna do it and i'm just like i called security on this lady for a doll she was talking to the doll like oh my god yeah and i'm just like like old chick and terrifier <laughs> i would call her, security her, too her doll her baby <laughs> oh, literally <laughs> i forgot yeah. about that part oh the my do- god yeah and i was just so nervous especially because i had my kids with me and at, at um, if you get there at a certain time at the theaters, they, they check you, you know? So, yeah. and I didn't know, you know, the times and whatever. So, you know, I just went with my kids. I was like, you know, I can't bring anything. I'm just going to take my kids. Right. And I was just like sitting there and I'm like this, like on my kid. And I'm just like, like with my leg shaking. And I'm just like, oh my God, I swear to God, if she reaches in that bag. And it was just so nerve wracking. And oh. I was just, just, I was nervous. I yeah, very, bet you that's, I was very, very nervous just because she was right next to me. Like, if she was down there, I'm on my kids. You know, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover them. I'm gonna do whatever I can to protect them. Right. But if she's next to me and if she's gonna pick up and blast, I'm right there. My kids are right there. I can't right. do much. So as soon as like she like was kind of I w- like was gonna go towards her bag, I was just like like I'm ready. <laughs> I'm oh ready. Gosh. I don't care what you have. This is I'm ready. Go to the movie theater. <laughs> I know it was security checked out her theater yeah didn't check out our theater Mm-mm. bastards what happened at your theater <laughs> hoodlums oh my god what he's been- <laughs> it was a <laughs> darn kids <laughs> what he's been bitching about huh the whole the whole podcast. because in our theater it's the same age kids that run the theater they're not gonna go until yeah. same age there's kids the same age hey don't do that they're not gonna listen yeah. But that's the thing. You were a kid once, like when yeah, we stuck in the, the theaters. Land. We weren't jackasses and talked during the movies. Yeah, I never did that. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, I never did that. Yeah, I mean, I we weren't on our phones. You guys didn't have phones back then. We, didn't have we, phones. we had flip phones. You had. I didn't. You had the brick phones. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. No, we had flip phones. You had the brick phones. I'm not Zach Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Morris. <laughs> No, but they're, I mean, but they're kids, you know what I mean? And everything is social media nowadays. So if they're, I mean, they're going to post, you know what I mean? They're going to take their pictures. They're going to do that outside of the theater. Kids are much more disrespectful nowadays than they were back in the day, though. I know. We heard this one. (laughs) What? (laughs) Did you hear that? (laughs) I'm literally pushing 30. (laughs) I'm not a kid. I'm pushing 30. What are you, 38? Yeah. You're lying. There you go. (laughs) No, you're not. Still younger than Robbie, though. 
<laughs> younger than me. I'm 44. <laughs> I'm proud of it. I didn't think you were the age you were. He kept, yeah. he kept asking me. He's like, how old is she? I was like, I don't know. And he's 44. Like, asking you, I asked you. No, he asked and me. And I was like, I don't know. And I was like, I, I he was, was like, like. I thought she just said it. And I was like, <laughs> I did. But like, it's not <laughs> my. She's like, oh, oh, it's not my place to say it. It's like, not my place to. You're way too nice of a person. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you for being such a nice person. How oh my dare God. you. I know. That's, it's not my place to repeat, though. You know what I mean? Like, if you say it once and you it don't catch on that. It doesn't bother me. Like, go ask. <laughs> I'm proud to say I'm 44. So, I'm, I'm glad I grew up in the 80s <laughs> and loving horror movies. Oh, I'm so glad I grew up in the 80s. So glad I got to do the video store. I'm so glad people didn't have social media. It was great. That was a fun time. Just saying. Social media, non-social media was a fun time. Yes, sure. it was. Mm-hmm. It was when yeah. people were respectful. Is that about it with the movies? Oh, you got something else to say. Do we got anything else to say? I <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, yeah, nothing. We are, are then, I, I hope this allows them to platform into other areas. Um, I know Damien's been trying to get his other movie out that he filmed during the pandemic that had uh, Danielle Harris in it. Yeah, see, that's and, what I'm talking about. I want to see something and like this. And I, I still don't know what's going on with yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not and, sure. And the sad part is he doesn't even know what's going on with it, so... Mm. Does he know what's going on with number three, or is he just going um, to Number it? three, they're going to start filming September. I am so excited. Yep. So they, he, I think he said he pretty much had the script for the third one done right when two was number coming two out. Number two was... Oh, so. Yeah. Well, I hope we get to see more of the girl. I, I liked the girl. Yeah, I liked um, the little The girl. addition of her in part two. I did like that. I think she did an excellent job. Yeah. I kind of wish they had the different like different actors because the little boy the way he was always looking confused and like oh oh and it's like bro move run you know what I mean and oh the brother yes well he did look a little confused he a looked lot of he the looked time. confused said the that. whole movie yeah well, he obviously. looked too surprised and confused and what's going on when he should know what's going on yeah we'll see what happens they're I mean like I said they're both coming back for it so. I mean, I'm all for it. I'm excited. I, I want to know if Art's head grows a body in the opening. <laughs> Imagine this if it grows so like crazy. a miniature body first. Oh, like Deadpool? That would yes. be great. I'd yes. be happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did her eyes glow too at the end? Didn't her eyes glow too at the end too? I don't think so. I thought maybe one oh. eye did. Because mm-hmm. she's only got one eye, right? The girl. Yeah. The, yeah, I think the one eye glowed at the end too. So something's going on oh, with the these glowing the, eyes. the little girl? No, not the, or the, the girl that gave birth to his head. Uh, it, oh, wasn't the it like one Tara's that got her sister? face ripped off. Yeah, wasn't it Tara's sister that got yeah. her face? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember if her eyes. Oh, no. And I just watched them too. Yeah, I think because she only has one eye, and I believe it glowed too. Because I was like, okay, there's something with these glowing eyes. Because I wrote that down too about the glowing eyes. Maybe Art possesses them. So. Possesses. Yeah, but he has it too. So what? What? What is he's, that? He's probably him? a demon. Well, we know he's not Which, an alien. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm just going to say, call it Sam and Dean Winchester. They'll handle it. <laughs> there you go. There, <laughs> there's one part I wanted to mention for the for the males out there, though. The, the guy with the Just the Tip t-shirt, and then he gets it right there in the tip. That was great. Was that great? <laughs> that was or did great. You like, oh, that's okay. my question. That for, took me for a the second. Men, that took me a second. For men, oh, for no, the guys, it's, it's did very, y'all like cringe at that? Uh, or did probably, you think it was awesome? No, it was very cringeful. Like Catherine being sawed in half was cringeful. I'm sure for you ladies. Yes. But it was also hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I thought, thought so. it was it was beautiful. And I felt like a lot of women can relate to that. <laughs> the tip. <laughs> because there's times where just, we're looking at men and we're just like, just the tip, you know? <laughs> And I like his shirt, though, too. Yeah. I've seen that shirt, but it's usually in Michael Myers depicted a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I liked his. Yeah. Didn't have Michael Myers on it, too. I liked his shirt, too. So I think that's a that's a funny joke. So for number tip. two, then, what was your favorite kill? Um, I'm going to have to go. I wrote stuff down for number two. Okay. The store scene I really liked. When you have the I, just, I just liked the whole scene. Mm-hmm. This whole, the, the store, um, Abracadabra. Um, I thought that was really cool. And then he puts the um, the bottle in his eye of mm-hmm. the employee. I thought that was really cool. Which you see that in other movies a little bit. But I liked how they did it in part two. And then just the whole rest of it. I just like that whole entire story Like when he's like, scene. man, you got to pay for it. And he's like, mm-hmm. <gasps> yeah. 
Yep, he's a smart ass, and then he gets <laughs> the bottle in his eye. <laughs> and then it goes on from there. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I liked that one. I just really enjoyed that whole, that whole scene. The story scene kill. Mm-hmm. I think for mine, it's the bedroom. Just because... The salt, the bleach. Yeah, because I know they had to put a lot of work just into everything in that scene. Yeah. Oh, it's very like, great. Like the way they sure. have they have to pace it, block it, mm-hmm. all the makeup details. Yeah. Like I I think that's the scene that really stands out for the movie. Set design too. Yeah. Was great. Like you don't like the mashed potato the mashed potato mom when he had <laughs> the apron funny. on and he's like It's funny, but it's just a waste of mashed potatoes. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was genius. Like he sat her at the head of the table and he's like standing there again looking confused and he's like oh, oh. Although, and he's just like with the mashed potatoes like look although the scene was very reminiscent of uh maniac yeah maniac we haven't talked about maniac we have not on the next podcast <laughs> no that, that one's already decided <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute <laughs> But yeah, I like the mashed potato thing. I thought that was funny. When I first seen it, I was like, he's really going there. Okay, he went there. No, I love see, that. He I, had I think I would have preferred the other girl's mom, though, to where he cut off their head and then he's using the head as a trick or treat bowl. Which that was funny. We, and then the kid goes mom. to get more candy and he smacks the hand. He's like, no, one. <laughs> <laughs> Candy's all gooey, Just mom. One. Just one. Just one. Just and he, he took it so seriously, too. Yeah. He was like, oh. Like he's like, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will say, I think art is more the icon of Halloween now at this point than Ghostface. I don't, I still don't get that. Michael Myers will always be the icon of Halloween. Yes, Michael Myers is Halloween. But let's fight. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not fighting <laughs> you. But <laughs> like the, the, this whole Ghostface no, marketing is yeah. he's the icon of Halloween. Halloween. But at it, yeah, you're right. And at that point, yes, we all know Michael We're, Myers. We yeah. have Myers. We but, have Art. We these have are all on Halloween. We have mm-hmm. Sam. Mm-hmm. Sam. I think they're all. I mean, unless, I mean, up until this new one, none of this Ghostface or Scream movies took place on Halloween. Mm-mm. Which and even then, I really can't even count this new one because it's very brief. Yeah, so I, I think I'm, the new one mainly because he has the gun and like now everyone's like, oh my god, look at his. Like look at his piece, and then right. the the mask, the way it's dirty and cracked, and the way it looks older. So like for our generation, um, it's more like a oh my god, like you know this is crazy instead of like the same knife stabbings right. all over again. You know yeah. your generation, my generation, yes, your generation, yeah, long after your time. Which isn't true <laughs> because Billy and Stu used the gun in the first movie, so boom. Okay, but they had they had little pieces, you know what I mean? For for Scream Six, it was like this shotgun, and he was just, you know what I, I mean? Like the it shotgun. was good. I love. And the that's shotgun. when you knew it was the cop. <laughs> or the cop's kid. <laughs> the cop's kid. <laughs> no, I don't understand the whole ghost base being. The, I, was, I don't think he should be marketed. I mean, as obviously, he shouldn't. Halloween. Yeah, he shouldn't. Michael Myers and now him and Sam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so at this point, since technically they're all supernatural, who wins in a fight? Michael is too slow. The Terrifier. But in the new trilogy, they don't have him too slow, though, do they? Nope. I don't even want to get into the movie. <laughs> I, oh, man. We're not, I, we're not going there. I'm just kidding. Oh, please. But, yes, he is slow. That's how he's supposed to be. Yes, yeah. 1978. He's I mean, no, but even not. in even in, in the, the new trilogy, well, in the new is. one now, no, we're talking about seventy eight. Uh, yeah, uh, se- seventy eight. He was. He should have been in his prime, and his knees were like, "No, you're not. Go slower." I like that he's slow, though. Yeah, it's very suspenseful to where you're like, "Oh man, I ran like three miles," and then you turn around, and he's like, "Here I am." You know, I feel like Art would just cut him the hell up. Yeah, Art just. I, th- I think Art and Sam would do massive damage on yeah. Myers. Yeah. But bring. Yeah. But bring I don't think anyone would want to fight Sam. They would just look at him like, oh, look at how cute you are. <laughs> I would kick him just like Chucky. I don't get how people don't just straight soccer ball kick these little things. <laughs> these little things. <laughs> like, there's, there's, no, there's no way. Like, 
my, even my daughter, she has this thing where she'll put her hair in front of her face and she's like, look, mom, you got seven days and she'll run at me. I'm like, man, you got her back up. <laughs> like if I'm willing to kick my kid for coming at me, Chucky and Sam don't got a chance because I will... Boom. Well, them and the puppet masters, like, they don't even, those ones they just come out. right after those you Those ones creep me out. But the puppet master, there's so, like, many of them to where you're like, like, where am I going to kick? I love it. We'll have to do puppet masters one day, mm -hmm. too. We yeah. haven't done that. Uh, that's way too many. Well, we don't have to talk about all of them. <laughs> all of them. You know, well, some of them all at right. least, a little bit. But, um... So that's it for the movies? Yep, I think so. I think we covered everything on that. All right. Well, you want to show off the yep. two items that... So, uh, you want to hold up that print for me? Mm -hmm. So we do have this print available right now in the store. It's $25. It's a gorgeous print. Oh, it is. Um, we, once in a while, we do have it in canvas form. <laughs> So, it was the glare. Um, Break it, you buy it. <laughs> so I'll the, take the, it. these are done by our friends at Fantasy Realms. Yes, and very, they're, they're very amazing. Gorgeous. And then uh, we are working on getting more of the one six scale figures. That one is Nikki's. That one is Nikki's. That this one's is not mine. for sale. Um, I got the last one. I'm I am I'm working on getting more in. The five inch figures are uh, gone until December. I like this one because it has the the hacksaw. Yeah. And I feel like that was... That's Does it come with his bag, though? No, but my daughter Fail. has the other two, the my bloody ones. My one does. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in my face. <laughs> was, we can make one. Which, I think that's why I like more about the five-inch figure is you could literally open the bag and put and all the put weapons the, in mm -hmm. it. So. Yeah, that's what I was saying out, out there. I was like, I couldn't find my daughter's... Because she has one that the I let her changing. open. The color changing. She had one that I let her open. She plays with. She's has like the Encanto house from the Disney thing, but she made it horror. So oh, that's cool. she has like these little, she uses her Funko Pops, like her horror Funko Pops to play with and things like that. And she had one to play with and then the other one to, to store. And I'm looking around and I was like, where is the, where's the one in the box? And my daughter's like, well, he went swimming. I'm like, swimming where? And she's like, well, I was gonna take him in the bath with me, but I really had to go to the bathroom and I dropped him. I was like, you dropped him in the toilet? And she's like, yeah, and I don't want you to get upset, so I just threw him. And she's like, but I kept his gun, it's under my pillow. And I'm like, why is the gun under your pillow? And he goes, she always has to stay ready, that's why. <laughs> God! Always ready. Always ready. Always ready for some action. <laughs> <laughs> your kid's kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring them in one I time, and they it. literally will go. She's on. imaginative. I like they that. will all. They will go forever talking about horror movies. She that's wanted so to come, funny. and she's like, "Can I come?" And I'll put my because she has a dress, a black and white dress, and she'll wear one pigtail up and things Aww. like that. And I'll take her to the store like that. I do not care. Why Ain't not? no one to say anything about my baby. No, <laughs> no. There you go. Yeah, I she, like that. She loved. They love horror. Some yeah. little boy had told her um because she had the the Chucky backpack the horror t-shirts the horror lunch boxes and everything like that and they're like you know uh scary movie is for boys and she's like you know your mom is for boys and i was just like Respect. yeah i was like you know good job you know for sticking up for yourself and what you love and you know but we don't talk about people's parents because you don't know what's going on and she's like well i don't know what to tell them now <laughs> I was like i'm not gonna apologize i was like no i didn't tell you to apologize <laughs> I love kids, but she, <laughs> but she's very. They they love horror. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, my daughter does too. So yeah, because horror is not a man's world. No, nope. used to be back in my day though. I got that all the time. Horror all is the not time. A man's my family, world. everybody, you know, like those boy movies. Well, here I am now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Women in horror for the sex of the killing. <laughs> there you go. And what else you got uh, over there, hun? Her Terrifier Nightlight. No, oh, cute. As soon as I priced it, I bought it. There you go. <laughs> I don't think we have any of those in stock, do we? Or do no, we? there was one. It was on the only one. I could get more made. It okay. was only one. Yeah. And I got it. <laughs> 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 and then I have her her mask that she was, please take care of him, Mom. The mask that they don't make anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like um, the Fool's Gone Wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah her mask and she she won't let me take the price tag off why i don't know well not the price tag but the tag yeah she won't let me take it off and she's like mom it's valuable and i'm like 
even if you take the tag like keep the tag on like it's not it's ours it's been in our house it's it walked out of the store with us it's right. not valuable anymore it's like a car once it leaves the store it loses its values yeah but a lot of math <laughs> people do leave the tags on though yeah i do on some and then some i take it off but that's all, just me yeah all my michael's masks and everything like that i because i collect masks um i all the tags are still on still on, but yeah. i wanted to take that one off because she wanted to use that one for halloween last year and i was like well let's take the tag off and she's like i'd rather just be something else and she's like i don't want the tag off well, like, there you right. go why not right, then oh and well, then my new dvd <laughs> <laughs> brian brought his movies mm -hmm. i brought mine and now I think you sold your DVD to her. <laughs> For my baby. No, no transaction has been completed. I so will it's sell still you mine. right now. And I let me know do what sell. else. You don't do, I will cash up you. What do you got? I don't do cash up. What, what do you have? PayPal? I want the hard cash. I'll give you cash. 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 Cash money makes the world go around. Yep. Money talks. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, next week, we are going to be doing Stay Alive. Mm hmm movie stay alive have you seen stay alive um the video game movie with malcolm in the middle the love that i have for that movie is ridiculous <laughs> i watch so it you, so, so you do know much yes like Good. the chant that they say in the beginning like yeah. i'll be watching it and my kids will because they they watch all the horror movies with me and we'll all start repeating it <laughs> i love it so uh, my daughter will be here next weekend and she's going to do the podcast with us and we're mm -hmm. going to talk about stay alive and then y'all can talk about video games. <laughs> video games. I'm and I excited. think she's going to do my live show with me as well. So she'll be hanging out with us next Wednesday. So that's that. And then the week after that, we'll do the new insidious movie, Red Door. Um, they need to stop with those. So we'll do it's that. That's the last one. <laughs> I hope so. Because insidious... Fast and the Furious. Um, oh God, Star Wars. You shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> they need to stop. They should. They should stop. There's tons of superhero movies too. Yes, tons and tons. Yeah, we saw how well the Flash did. <laughs> <laughs> the face. That's I'm another sorry. podcast. The Flash. Oh, God. <laughs> or like the new Spider-Man movie that came out. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> another one. <laughs> Look, it's. Like we said before, Chrissy, they're just they just keep doing the same mm. movies. There's nothing original mm -mm. coming out, and I feel like that's why the Terrifier again which is, is so popular. Uh, which is ironic because <laughs> she's all about them making more Halloween movies when they should have stopped at H two O. No, 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 no. I am not for them making Halloween movies. Bam! Brian said yeah. it. The thing, the thing about Brian said it. The Sorry. thing about the yeah. Halloween <laughs> movies is that Halloween Ends <laughs> was so completely bad. trash from the beginning. The franchise was. Wait, this what? is Michael. Say, say that one more time. Wait, what? Say that one more time. What? Say, What'd I say? The, the, the Halloween ends. Say it one more time. It was trash. In your face, Robbie. It was trash, and I'll argue with Robbie too. What's up? I'm at <laughs> <laughs> It was trash. Let me go let me go get Joseph in here so we could fight. Like Halloween ends was oh, so it was God. it was it was the worst. The whole thing was Michael Myers, <laughs> he's after Lori. He should have killed, threw her in the wood chipper or whatever, killed her, <laughs> dropped his mask and walked away. Like that was the whole point of it. He was after her, not everybody jumping him and think, I could go on for hours. Let's, we'll have to do that. that My one day again. is made. <laughs> We have to move on, though. We got it's just like, welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now um, I'm accepted? <laughs> so, and then yeah, what else? It's we... only until at this point. <laughs> it's like we couldn't stand you until, oh, yeah. until then. <laughs> <laughs> now you're one of us. Oh, now you're one of us. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong franchise. But we can so. all sit here and talk about what we don't like and like and whatever, and we can all mm -hmm. laugh about it, though. Yeah, because we're adults. The people that get way too into the, oh, well, Michael this and Michael that. And I'm just like, all right. Like. Can I, I want to say something and then we'll move on from it. What you're saying, mm -hmm. going along with what you're saying. I think a small part of my hatred for it is because people, a lot of people for whatever weird reason. And, and I don't ever, if I, if I comment, which I hardly ever do on people's posts about this stuff. But if I do, I just say, I don't like it. That's all I say. I don't say anything else. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm not saying anything else. But a lot of people like to make accounts to attack me about my opinion on the Halloween movie. So I feel like that's 
I'm, I'm going to say it right here. That's a small part of why I don't like it because people act that way towards me. I've had it happen a lot, a lot, a lot more than you probably know or think. But I've had a lot of people make fake accounts just to attack me. And it's childish because it's like you guys are I even showed you mm -hmm. and Joseph. Yeah, it, it's very childish. Like, who cares if you don't like something? When it's it someone's opinion. Like, and like we always I, say to each their own. And we'll throw a little like, oh, it's your opinion. It's wrong. But it's your, you know what I mean? Like, see, we're I don't, adults. I, I, just, we got. I don't like it. I don't like it or I like it. That's all yeah. I say. Yeah. But. Oh, no, I love I love arguing with people or, but, on the internet. I'll go back and forth. We could go for days. But you days. know what, though? <laughs> I mean, there's tons and tons of people's posts that are about all three of the movies, and I like their posts. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sit here and, like some people like to do, which is why I'm not on Facebook, will go on everybody's posts. It's garbage. You're shit. Oh, and my then, God. You know, and they just keep doing that. I like people's posts that... that uh, are posting about ends, kills, or your masks, your figures, or or whatever you're doing because I'm supporting you and I like you and I'm not gonna sit here and yeah. trash you about it. And yeah. I, you know, so I'm not out there, but a lot, there has been a lot of people to literally make fake accounts or literally go out of the way to message me to trash me about my opinion about it. When I really don't say that much about it. I really don't. I, think I don't have like this whole long constructive criticism about it. I just don't like it. And that's part of my reasoning on why I don't like it is because people act that way. Yeah. There. I got that out. I think the only <laughs> valid comeback when people tell you something about it should be like, bro, you literally live in your mom's basement. Goodbye. Well, I literally want, if you're going to say you don't like it or like it or whatever, I want you to give me a mature, constructive criticism of your reasoning of liking or not liking but then but that's then what even, i want but then even but that like we don't have to go do back and forth about it like i'm pretty sure hopefully they have something to do with their day that they can't sit there and type me paragraphs about what's going on it's just like but people do because they have nothing better to do and it's like we have lives so we're mature about it to where we're like you know what to each their own you don't like it that's fine you love it good for you like i, right. I support you doing it you just got that cool mask cool you know what i mean like good for you i'm like i'm proud of you for going out there and doing something that you liked but when it comes to me don't come at me like that yeah yep because if you would if you're gonna tit i'm a tat and we could tit <laughs> <all day. laughs> i yeah i know i i i have said some things to some people and most of the time i just block people and don't say anything at all but yeah but i have gotten attacked a lot by that and that's something i haven't really talked about but um that's ridiculous and i'm sorry as a grown woman that you have that's to why when it that. happened not too long ago like what was it last week or the week mm -hmm. before when it happened like twice in a row on twitter and i immediately showed you and joseph so y'all can see what the hell i've been talking about this whole time but ever since uh, probably about kills came out ever since that came out um is when people just like to attack me about it so that's part of the reason why i don't like him is because of other people's behaviors the michael franchise yeah well well the no well, no it is the, 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 the trilogy the new trilogy okay. you can just say you don't like it and it somehow it ruins people's days yeah. for no reason it, has, yeah. it doesn't affect them physically whatsoever just emotionally <laughs> Like, for instance, one of the ones I showed y'all, somebody posted on Twitter, um, it was just like, so what four, what four sequels of the Halloween movies mm -hmm. do you like? It was just a simple thing like that yeah. on Twitter. And I just put H4. That was my answer. That's my answer. Just H4. Someone literally attacked me for that. I showed him and Joseph. Attacked me for that. And I have no idea why or what or what. You weren't. there. I know. So that's what I'm talking Things about. Like it happens a lot to me, so stuff like that, and I'm just like... It's really stupid it's, and childish. It's dumb, it's childish, it's not necessary. And then people think I don't like Michael Myers. I like Michael Myers. I love yeah. Michael Myers. Have you seen my collection? Yes. I have a Michael Myers collection. Actually, my Michael Myers collection is almost as big as my Chucky. I just don't care for the new trilogy, and part of the reason is what I just explained. Yeah, I was that's what I'm trying to fans. say. I'm trying it's to say fans. that without. I don't want to offend anybody because it's already right, but okay. Well, then I'll. <laughs> but, do it. but so, yes, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> Quit coming at Christy. Yes. <laughs> we have no. I'll filters. do it. I'll do it. <laughs> but yes, yes. Ever since about 2008, the 18 one, really though. Um, yes, that the fans have kind of made me 
not like it. Well, you know where the but whatever. can go. No. But I still don't <laughs> like the story, though. So whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I don't like how the story but ended. I do <laughs> like Michael Myers. I do love Halloween, and Halloween is true to my art. I love part two. I love part four. Everybody knows I love part three. So. So there you go. You should have to validate <laughs> yourself, though. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. But unfortunately, sometimes I have to with a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, whatever. Um, let's see. Tom Ble- Devlin, do you want to talk about that really quick? Yep. So uh, tomorrow uh, from 12 to 4? Four? Is it 4 or 5? You want me to Google it? <laughs> yeah. Or go on their Instagram, Instagram page. I'm pretty sure it's four. Okay. Um, Danielle Harris and Scout Taylor Compton will be at Tom Devlin's uh, signing autographs, taking photos. Um, it is also their uh, the Monster Museum's anniversary, I believe. Their yes. sixth anniversary sixth party. Anniversary. It is signing autographs from 12 to 4 p.m. Four, okay. Uh, four. Danielle Harris and uh, Scout Taylor. And then at 6 o'clock, they'll be doing a live taping for their Talk Scary to Me podcast. Yes. Which, which I, I think tickets may have sold out. I think he sold out on that. Yeah. yeah. But me and you will be going. Yep. And we will be bring. Are you going, Brian? Are you the one going? They don't know. Well, one of our video guys will be coming with us and videoing the event as well. So we can post it here so y'all can see um, Tom Devlin's events too and see what he's all about. Um, we're big supporters of Tom. Mm-hmm. Tom supports us. So, I yeah, we're going to go do that yeah. Saturday. Uh, what? <laughs> I said, I hope it's me. <laughs> I, was, I, I always have fun at Tom's. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I was it, whether it's a signing or just going there and talking. And hanging them. out. The yeah. museum's fun. Always Everything's check, fun. Always checking out the museum. I have yet to go there. It's always fun. He's always That's changing it up too. Cool. He's I always have changing up there. the museum all the time too. Mm-hmm. So, And then he puts a haunted house there for October. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yep. So that'd be fun. So we're going to go do that, and we'll have that video on the YouTube uh, sometime after that happens. And we have our 4th of July sale, which will be um, online only only because we will be closed. Yeah, I'm, I'm not coming in. <laughs> <laughs> no one's coming in I'm on Tuesday in. on 4th of July. So 15% off of everything in stock um, online and all the day. Ca- and the cafe is closed as well. Yeah, restaurants closed as well. Both will be closed on 4th of July. Um, and like I said, next week we're going to do Stay Alive. Stay Alive. We're going to do Stay Alive, talk, talk about video some video games. games. And I would like to go ahead and add this in really quick. Um, we have gotten some sad news yesterday. I would like to say rest in peace for Julian Sands. Um, they did find his remains yesterday. And um, yeah, just, it's pretty sad. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad they found I, him, uh, though. I'm glad they found him, but I think it was pretty much a conclusion after yeah. the first month. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sad situation. Yeah. So I'm going to cry. So anyway. This is why peace. I don't go hiking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, that concludes the Nightmare Podcast for this week. Come see Nikki. She's here with Joseph. Or follow me on my Instagram. Uh, Instagram. <laughs> Nikki. Plug the plug. Nightmare <laughs> Nikki. It's a uh, Nikki underscore Gordon. 702 Ooh. underscore nightmare. nightmare. There we go. Yeah, apparently there's like 8 million Nightmare Nikki's. <laughs> when we tried to make my Instagram, it, we were, it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Christie's too. <laughs> but there's only one that matters. Aww. 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 Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm not going to lie. That touched my heart right there. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Why don't you ever say stuff like that to me? Because I don't care about you. <laughs> because I don't like you. <laughs> oh my God. We are so He's like, I only barely started liking you when you said that about Halloween. <laughs> We're so bad. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Bye.